In our day-to-day -day lives, we are overwhelmed with information. Whether it's telephone calls, emails, newspapers, TV or radio, our brains are simply swimming with information. The challenge is to keep our heads above water by accessing only the information we need at the right time. And this challenge is the same in air traffic management, ATM. Aerodrome charts, approach procedures, route structures, last minute NOTAMs on opening or closure of airspace. The Aeronautical Information Service is responsible for collecting, publishing and distributing the aeronautical data necessary for aircraft operations. Today, all this data is printed and distributed in paper form as aeronautical information publications and NOTAMs. The change from paper-based AIS to digital AIM involves transposing all this data into electronic interoperable format and improving data management in terms of availability, accuracy and integrity. Frequently we say that moving from AIS to AIM means two things, going digitally and improving the quality of the data. Going digital is not an objective by itself, it is the means by which we can increase the quality of the data. And going digitally requires data models and this is the reason for which we have developed the Aeronautical Information Exchange model, the AXM, to be able to model the data that we want to manage and to exchange digitally. AIXM proposes a model to be standardized worldwide. This model is presently used in the EAD and is being upgraded to also cover dynamic data as the digital NOTAM project will demonstrate. Bringing AIS data into electronic format is achieved through the Aeronautical Information Exchange model. However, efficient ATM decision making does not rely solely on the use of aeronautical information. Yeah, over the last years we have seen the evolution of AES and AAM by applying all kinds of industry standards, really moving towards an open, seamless information environment. And the same principles we also could apply on meteorological information. The AAXM is basically the fundament of the exchange model that is currently under development for the weather information. So applying the same principles of the AAXM in the world of meteorology and that's the weather exchange model. So at the end of the day we end up with two data domains that could be perfectly merged into all kinds of applications for the benefit of the ATM users. Eurocontrol together with the Swedish air navigation service provider LFV has launched the digital AIM project DAIM. The objective here is to create a testbed for one of the pillars of future ATM, information sharing. Its goal is to show the practical feasibility of information management in ATM and to show just what can be achieved when ATM data is available and shared digitally. In the DAME project we are demonstrating new technologies and open standards for aeronautical information to be provided to pilot in flight. A filtered information will prevent information overflow and having the information available for all users is also increasing situational awareness and in the end make it even safer to fly. Initial DAIM trials tested an operational situation where only the information relevant to the flights was dynamically updated and visualized in the cockpit. The information was extracted from static and dynamic aeronautical information, temporary segregated airspace data, meteorological data and airport mapping databases. The air crew received updated information via data link while the presentation of combined graphical and textual information was seen as key to this success. DAIM trials have only showed one possible way to use AIM, NET and ATC information together. 
but the open architecture of the systems allows any third-party developers to design other solutions that could use the data and deliver new services to new users. It's amazing today what kind of nice devices you have already with aeronautical information on them. But in fact, what our users need is shared aeronautical up-to-date quality information amongst all the uh, collaborating actors. That is exactly what we try to achieve with Digital AIM. In fact, when we share uh, the same principles of D-AIM amongst uh, all the other domains like meteorology, flow management, flight objects, we then are in a position whereby we can fuse, use and filter the information in a seamless way to the benefit of all the users. In a nutshell, Digital AIM is about creating the intranet of ATM. Indeed, efficient information management relies on a global, interoperable data exchange principle. Standardization of data content through data modeling, but also standardization of interfaces enabling seamless interoperation. In that respect, the DAIM project has brought significant achievements. On the one hand, it developed an open architecture that also allows all ATM players to join in and propose access to their information. All they need is to develop their exchange model. On the other hand, the very same architecture enables provision of new services based on accurate, qualified information destined for any user. Doesn't this picture look familiar? In fact, DAIM initiated the first demonstrator of SWIM, the information management of ATM. Just as the internet turned handwritten letters into emails, DAIM is a prototype of an ATM intranet. It will bring about the same change, delivering the relevant data anytime, anywhere, to any device. AIM made its way in learning to exchange and share its data. The path is now open for all other ATM players to make CESAR ATM information management a reality. <laughs>